Question 12. Josephine invested $1,000 at the end of each year for five years. Her investment earned interest at 4.8% per annum compounded annually. What was the total value of Josephine's investment to the nearest dollar at the end of the fifth year? We can model this financial situation as a recurrence relation. Let AN be the value of the annuity at the end of the nth year. So at the end of the first year, Josephine deposits $1,000 and it earns no interest. So the value of A1 is equal to 1000 The value of the annuity at the end of the second year is found by taking the value of the annuity at the end of the first year, which is $1,000, it's going to be increased by 4.8%. So we're going to have 1,000 times 1.048, and then Josephine is going to deposit another $1,000. And that equals 2,048. Now at the end of the third year, we find this value by taking the value at the end of the second year, so A2, which is 2,048. That's going to be increased by 4.8% again. So we're going to multiply that by 1.048. And then Josephine is going to deposit another $1,000 and that equals $3,146.30. And the process is repeated. So the value of A4, which is the value of the annuity at the end of the fourth year, is $4,297.32. And the value of the annuity at the end of the fifth year is equal to $5,503.59, which rounds to $5,504 correct to the nearest dollar. Therefore, the answer is option C.